Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be trying out Tang Light the Beast on ROG LF running on Linux based Poseidon operating system. It's an open world online survival horror game, officially supports FSR 4 upscaler and XCSS frame generation. We don't need to use OptiScaler mod in order to use these features on our ROG LF. We can simply replace the in-game FSR 4 TLL file with the intate version of FSR 4 TLL file in order to use the intate model of FSR 4 upscaler and in order to use XSS frame generation just need to update the in-game XSS files to the latest ones that we can obtain from XSS SDK version 2.1 now I'll download the required files FSR's SDK was leaked a month ago it included the intake model of FSR 4 also included files that could be used to compile intake FSR 4 TLL file big thanks to athlete dependent 926 user on reddit for compiling this file and sharing it with the community just click on this co file link now you just need to download a md fidelity fx upscaler dx12.tll file click on download here download xcss sdk version 2.1.0 from github i'll give its link in the description expand the asset section click on a dot zip link here download will start open dolphin file explorer click on downloads here you'll find all of the files that you just downloaded i have transferred them to another directory it does not matter First, I'll update the in-game XCSS files. Just open XCSS SDK archive file. Double click, click on extract. Name, type anything. Click on extract. Wait for the extraction process to complete. Finish. Close the archive window. Open the extracted XCSS SDK folder. Open bin folder. Now you just need to copy three files libxcss.dll this file corresponds to xcss super resolution libxcss underscore fg.dll this is xcss frame generation and libxcll.dll xcss low latency mode right click copy and show you where to paste these files select the game in your steam library right click manage click on browse local files now open ph underscore ft folder open work folder bin folder x64 folder paste everything here apply to all overwrite that's it now i'll install intake version of fsr 4 upscaler just copy its amd fidelity fx upscaler dx12.tll file that you download it from reddit open the games install directory open ph underscore ft folder work folder bin folder x64 folder replace the existing file paste overwrite that's it i'll switch to gaming mode was i to have system info my is running on bias version 342 i have set the uma buffer size to 4 gb video driver radv 25.2.1 using G Proton version 10-15 as the compatibility layer don't need to use any launch argument FSR 4 intake model will work without it launch argument is required for using the FP8 model of FSR 4 RDNA 3 GPU workaround handle daemon settings TDP value set to 27 watts TDP boost disable using a very aggressive fan curve CPU setting, CPU power set to low, CPU boost disable, GP frequency set to auto, launch the game. Game started. In this game we play as Kyle Crane, same protagonist from Dying Light Part 1. He is turned into a sentient volatile after the events of Dying Light the following. He gets captured and tortured by GRE organization which is headed by a mysterious guy called the Baron. He is the villain in Dying Light the Beast and our objective is to take him down menu performance qm settings holy level set to 3 frame limit 120 vr enable that's it the game story mode can be played in either solo or co-op mode i'll be playing it in solo mode display settings first i'll run the game without frame generation fsr 3.1.5 upscaler selected sharpness level 50 using the upscalers quality preset no FPS cap applied, vsync off resolution set to 900p 
Display mode windowed borderless required for using XCSS frame gen. Advanced settings. Post processing effects disabled, film grain effect, chromatic abrasion, lens flare, light sticks, glow, motion blur intensity set to nil. The game supports DirectX 11 and DirectX 12 APIs. Need to run the game in DirectX 12 mode in order to use frame generation. D3 D12 API selected, asynchronous compute setting on, would not recommend running the game on low preset. Using a custom preset, texture quality, particles quality, shadows quality and global illumination setting set to medium, rest of the settings set to low. With this preset, you will get roughly the same performance as low preset, like 2 to 3 FPS less in the worst case scenario. Screen space shadows on, jump into the story mode, I skip the opening part. Escaping from the Baron's Bunker, not a very demanding sequence. Unlock the game's open world. <laughs> Look at the undead, they can't climb. Slow and sluggish during the daytime. At night, they become very aggressive. Moving the camera slowly. Yeah, I can see that ugly shimmering effect. Just observe the textures of the cabin. They are shimmering. Same thing for the leaves of the trees. FPS here is close to 35. See the shimmer effect here. Okay, I'll just test the in-game FSR frame generation. Highlight its graphical artifacts. Open the video settings. Just set frame generation to FSR. Resume the game. FPS increased to around 56. Yeah, smoothing effect. It's working properly. Minor latency definitely present yeah there's a delay when I move the right stick and the input getting registered on the screen just observe the right edge of the display and I spin the camera ghosting is produced around a weapon FSR frame generation related artifact C a shadow also flickers during fast visual motion when I sprint there's the flickering effect oh no undead okay i'll just oh my god <laughs> that was close almost got caught there as i was saying i'll just switch to intent version of fsr for upscaler just set fsr upscaler version to 4.0.2 choose the base game performance first disable frame generation resume the game from the same spot and yeah fps dropped to around 28 but check out the improvement in terms of image quality Moving the camera around. Not observing any shimmering effect now. Even if it is produced, very difficult to observe it on LS small display. Extend 7 inches diagonally. Okay, I'll just drop the in game resolution to 720p. The image quality is still going to look sharp. Back to the game. FPS increased to around. 37 massive boost in terms of performance after dropping the resolution from 900p to 720p <laughs> I'll just enable XCSS frame gen FSR for upscaler selected frame generation set to XCSS it will automatically enable XCSS low latency mode display mode borderless resolution 720p resume the game from the same spot my weapon I'll just spin the camera. As you can see, no ghosting is produced around its blade. And look at that smoothing effect. Amazing. Real world input delay. Here, yeah, XCSS frame gen produces a lower latency than FSR frame generation. As simple as that. I'm sprinting. Observe the shadow. No flickering is going on highly recommended to use XCSS frame gen in this game ok I'll just go to the nearest town the old town my objective is get to a town hall big open area for us to explore we can use a vehicle to traverse the game world and the good old parkour in the open areas you will be getting better performance than the towns <laughs> full of these creeps oh my god mm, just equip my machete
they are blocking this area path to our objective made to the hold down grab the ledge scale the wall here <laughs> these things they are everywhere grab the ledge scale the building will be getting better performance in the indoor area see fps it increased to around 85 sky dead again okay i'll climb to the rooftops and just like that check out this view you see the undead in the background such good performance on rog ally yeah 60 fps here with frame generation very demanding sequence check out that animation quality it's looking so smooth and the image quality it's looking sharp clean no shivering is produced all thanks to fsr for upscaler so very good results produced by using the intate model of fsr for upscaler combined with xcss frame generation and that's it with the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day